So look, normally when Muslims and atheists interact with each other, it's always on the basis of logic, you know, arguments for God's existence are given, arguments against, supposed arguments against God's existence are given, and this is the level we normally have our discussions. But seldom do we have the discussion on, you know, what do, what does adopting these ways of life, these world worldviews mean from a personal perspective, from the perspective of our experience in our lives, and how does it shape and change our lives, right? And this is what I want to touch upon today. See, from the Islamic perspective, it's very clear. When you understand the reality of God and you understand the purpose you were created for, which is to worship Him and get to know Him, it puts things into perspective. It, it makes for an easy life from that angle. And also, it's in line with our very human nature, something we could discuss in other videos. But... What does it mean from the perspective of atheism? What does it mean when you adopt atheism as a worldview? How does that shape your life and change your life or affect your life? See, there's a very powerful verse in the Quran that I want to allude to here where God says, Whoever turns away from the remembrance of God, indeed he will have a difficult life, a depressed life, a life of suffocation. And some of the classical commentators commenting on this verse, which is based, uh, by the way, in the 20th chapter, verse 124, when they commented on this verse, they said that this type of person, whoever turns away from the remembrance of God, he can have everything from the physical perspective. He can have all the luxuries, all of the cars, the, beautiful, the most beautiful house, the most amazing family, but he still will not truly be happy. He will still have this suffocation inside him because he's going against his very nature and reality. Now, I'm not saying that all atheists are depressed. Let me make that very clear, right? I'm not making that claim, but generally speaking, I mean, all you have to do is go online and go to some of these atheist forums, and what you see is there's many of them that put up posts such as, you know, I'm depressed, I don't have to live, I'm going through an existential crisis, you know, life doesn't make sense anymore, meaning has been taken out of my life. And there's many, many of these forums, and many, many, and these are just a few of the atheists that actually do come out and comment on the forums, probably many others that don't. And I believe one of the reasons this happens is because when you deny God and you remove God out of the picture, what do you have left? You have a, you're left with a reality which basically suggests that everything in existence right now, including ourselves as human beings, these sentient conscious beings, are a result of blind random physical processes. Things that have been taking place over millions and millions of years, just random physical happenings, right? Without any intentionality, any mind, any purpose or anything like that. It's all an accident, basically. So. If everything's an accident, then there's no true meaning, there's no true happiness, there's no true purpose, there's no true value in life anymore. Life means nothing. We're just an accident. We're alive today and we're going to be dead tomorrow. We're in existence today and we'll be gone tomorrow. And the very fact that we exist is an accident in itself. So when you think about this reality, you know, it really shakes you from, from that perspective because you can't make sense of things anymore. What does it mean to be me? Who am I? What am I? Am I just a rearrangement of physical molecules and physical atoms? That's it. I mean, what's different? And you know what? I went through this myself in my life where there was a point where I didn't know anything about Islam. I wasn't practicing. I, I probably wouldn't even, even consider, you know, a Muslim. Some may not even consider me that. And the reason I mention this is because I went through, through this phase where, you know, I would go past, for example, the butcher shop looking through the window and I'll see pieces of meat hanging in the window and I'll think, what's the difference between that and me? That's me and I'm me. I'm, fizz, I'm flesh, I'm bone. What's the difference, right? And it's a very morbid outlook on life, but that's what denying God results in. If we, if, we, if we follow it through properly, if you deny God, then everything is a random accident. It's all physical, random physical stuff. Then where is the meaning and value to anything? There isn't. Right? Something I want us to think about you know, and something I want us to reflect over because the reality is as human beings, we know we have a higher purpose. We know we have meaning. We know we mean something. We have value. But when you adopt atheism as a worldview, then you void yourself of any meaning and any value if you follow through properly. Right? So it's something for us to think about and reflect over. And anyone sincere watching that's looking into life, looking into the purpose of life and these questions, I would really encourage you to consider reading the Quran and just let the Quran speak for itself, right? If you're sincere, God says he will, he will guide you, right? So pick up the Quran, read the Quran for yourself, look past the media hype. And I pray to God that he guides you and he continues to guide us. So until next time, may the peace and blessings of God be upon you all.